Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balcom. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Black Legion Havoc under the Reaper Chain Cannon. So the first colour we're going to use is Citadel Liberator Gold. Now we're going to use this to do all the armour trim and all the trim on the Reaper Chain Cannon. It's quite a bit of it, so it can take a while to get these layers down. As with the other Black Legion, it's usually the Liberator Gold and the Black that's going to take you the longest time just because of the surface area they cover. Lead Belcher actually takes quite a while on this one just because of the size of the Reaper Chain Cannon. Next up, we're going to be using a bit of Citadel Retributor Armour. This is going to be to do some of the smaller details and also all the casings on the rounds that are going into the Chain Cannon. As this goes on, the rounds do actually take quite a while to paint, because as well as wanting to individually paint some shine and reflections on each of the rounds, you've also got to paint each of those links, which is holding the rounds all together. So you've got a section of link in between each round, and you've got two pieces of the link going over the top of each round on each side, so it does take quite a while to do those parts. Next up, we're going to be using another metallic, Citadel Lead Belcher. We're going to be doing the end of each round, parts of the barrel, and some of the other details on his backpack and his face. We've also got a number of chains as well, going down his front, and also holding on the little icons just behind the chain cannon that you can't really see. If you're painting this in separate pieces, it's probably going to be easier to do some of the details, like the armoured, plates which hang down between his legs there. But if you put them together, it doesn't really matter too much because you can't see them very well anyway. Now we're going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel Mephiston Red. We're going to use this to paint his eyes and also to paint the bionic eyes and the little one just above that too. Like so. Now we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo Flesh Base. We're going to be using this to do just a little bit with claws on his Reaper Chain Cannon here. Now when you look at the actual Games Workshop version of this, it's just painted black like it's just a bit of decoration on it. But I kind of like the idea that there's a bit of a clawed fleshy bit coming out of the Chain Cannon itself. And next up, we're going to be basing the talons that are coming out of that fleshy bit with Citadel Rekarth Flesh. like so. Next up we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Avalon Sunset. That's just to paint two of the tubes. You've got one going down the side of his head there. And we're going to do one on the middle of his torso as well as three tubes just underneath his breastplate. So we're going to do one of those two. Like so. Next up, we're going to use this first shade, and that is going to be Citadel Agrax Earthshade. We're going to be using this on all the gold, so anything that's Retributor Armour, anything that is Liberator Gold, we're going to use it on both of those. I always say it, I love it when you start putting the shades on, it really brings out the detail. So if you look at how plain those rounds look, and then once you've put the Agrax Earthshade on, how much detail you can see on those, it really does make the world a difference. The next shade is going to be Citadel Reichland Flesh Shade. 
We're just going to use this on the little fleshy bits on the Reaper chain cannon. Very click layer this. Like so. Next up, it's going to be Seraphim Sepia. And this is going to be through the claws that are coming off that little fleshy bit you've just shaded. Like so. Next up, we're going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel Drucci Violet, and that is just to do his eye and the two lenses on his head there. Then you use a tiny little bit of Citadel Fugan Orange, and this is going to be to do the cables that we've painted yellow. Like so. The big one now is Citadel Null Oil, and you're going to be using this on all of the lead belcher areas, and also all of the armour trim that's on him too. The null oil just adds a little bit of darkness to the gold and gives it a kind of grubby, I think, worn look. I'll finish that on return after it's done. Now we're going to start with Citadel Retributor Armour. We're going to start painting all these colours back in again. So thing to note on these rounds here, you've got the very top percussion cap at the back there, and you've got three little ridges before you even reach the first link on the chain. And you've got the bit between the links, and you've also got the rounds on the other side and below them as well. So the rounds do take a lot of time to do with the Retributor armour. Just take your time with it and it'll look sound. Next up, Citadel Liberator Gold. We're now going to start adding colour back to the armour trim. We're also going to do the first highlight on the Retributor armour on the rounds as well. So the trim and the rounds you're both going to use this Liberator Gold on. And when you're painting on the Liberator Gold, you really want to be trying to get the area is highlighted so the shiny, but also leaving some of the null oil and the Grax Earth shade in the recesses to make it look like the grime is built up in those areas. You'll see that at the start of the next clip. So now we're going to mix a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome with the Liberator Gold, and we're going to just start highlighting all the edges of the golden areas. Because the chrome is such a shiny colour, it just makes these areas catch the light more, makes them stand out. I think it's really quite a good effect of the light reflecting off the edges of it. Now again, highlighting the top edges with this layer. Next up, we're going to use some Vallejo Black. We're going to start filling in the armour trim. Now please to be careful when you're putting this layer on so you don't go over any of the gold that we've just put on. Also with this we're going to be painting the links on each of the rounds as well. Which does take a while because there's so many of them and they are very very thin. So just take your time when you're painting those on, use quite a thin brush. Next is Vallejo German Grey. We're going to do the highlight on the armour trim here. If you heard that, that was the cat sneezing. And the way I do the highlighting on black is I'm just going to use the German grey to highlight the areas which will be catching the light to lighten that area. Rather than doing the edge highlights which I don't really like the look of. 
We're also going to highlight the links that are on the chain of rounds too. And again, like the black, that's going to take quite some time to do. The final color we're using to highlight the armor is Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. We are just going to catch the edges of his armor, plates and things here. So you're just highlighting all the edges which will be catching the light. Now you don't want to be highlighting all the edges, no matter where they are, you want to be just highlighting the ones that catch the light. We'll get these finished off and then back onto the next layer. Now we're going to be going onto Vallejo Flesh Base again. We're just going to work on these little fleshy bits here. So you're reapplying some colour, making sure that you leave some of the right line flesh shade in the recesses. Next, we're going to add a little bit of white to the flesh base and just highlight that. Like so. Now we're going to add another little bit of layer of white to that and do one final highlight on the skin. Like so. Now we're going to be moving on to Citadel Rakarth Flesh and we're going to paint those claws coming off the end of it. Now this is part of some very quick layers on these claws because there's not very much to them. It's one thing I found with the Havoc is there isn't as many scrolls or smaller different details to them which is good because it means they take less time to paint. I've just added a little bit of white to the Citadel Ricard flesh. I'm just going to highlight those claws. Like so. Now we're going to do a little bit of Avalon Sunset to get the yellow back on those cables bring a bit of colour back to the model. Like so. I'm going to highlight that with a little bit of Citadel Uriel Yellow. This really does brighten up the model a lot because it is a very bright yellow. Like so. Mephiston red next, and we're going to be doing the lenses. So when you're adding the Mephiston red, be very, very careful. Just get onto the lens so that you're leaving some of that droochy violet around the edges of it. Like so. Then we're going to be adding a little bit of Vallejo white to the Mephiston red. We're going to be highlighting. So on the actual eye lens, you want to be doing the bigger end of the lens towards the rear of the helmet you want to be adding more of the lighter shade to that then you want to be adding almost like half the lens like a crescent on the left hand side of the lens there and the same on the smaller lens I'll just add a little bit more Vallejo white to the previous mix we're just going to be highlighting the left hand end again, making sure that you leave some of the previous mix visible. You might be doing that sort of like to the bottom of the lens. And again, you're adding highlights to the previous highlights that you've done on the other two lenses. Now we're just going to use a little bit of pure Vallejo white. I'm going to use this just to put some light reflections on the lenses. 
So on the bionic eye, you want to be putting a little white dot in the darker area on the top right of the lens, as well as a little dot in the very middle of the bottom left of the lens. You're also doing a white spot on the front of the eye lens as well, and a tiny white spot on the bottom left and the top right of the smaller lens at the top there. Back onto the Citadel lead belcher now. We're going to use this just to do the little parts around his bionic eyes, just to give them a bit more colour. And we're also going to do some highlights and on the edging of the metallics on the Reaper chain cannon and some of the other details that we used the lead belcher on earlier on. Now we're going to use some Vallejo White and with this we're going to do the Eye of Horus on the centre of his chest and we're also going to start painting the Eye of Horus logo on his shoulder pad. Now when you're doing this it doesn't really matter if you're too rough doing it, you just want to get the basic shape and get the arrows drawn on and the little spikes. Because we can always tidy this up with the next layer. So you see the rough outline there, and once we come back we'll use a bit of black to tidy up that edge. So you can see the rough icon there, we're going to use Vallejo black just to tidy that up. You can see where some areas are thicker than others so you want to be ever so slightly reducing that down so that the lines are a bit thinner. Again, if you're doing this and you go over too much of the white section, you can just use a little bit of white to touch that up at a later point. That doesn't really matter too much. So now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Cassandora Yellow. And this is going to be just to do the Eye of Horus on his chest. Give that a nice deep yellow colour. And also the Eye of Horus badge on his shoulder. Now you may notice that I did a black line, vertical line, on the Eye of Horus on his chest, just to give that in now. And I did that with the previous layer. Next up we're using a little bit of Citadel Fugan Orange. We're going to do around half of the Eye of Horus on his chest and then the same on the one on his shoulder too. Now sometimes if you're putting this on it goes on quite thin you can see a lot of the yellow through the Fugan Orange. So you just want to go back on and either give that a second layer or put it on a little bit thicker than you usually would do. That just allows some of the orange to settle there and gives it that sort of like fiery orange colour with the yellow. Like that. Now there's a little problem here. We're going to use a little bit of Citadel Carabag Crimson, but the video didn't record properly. So I've already actually put the Carabag Crimson on the shoulder pad. What you want to be doing around a quarter of the underside of that, and then about a quarter of this part of the eye horus on his shoulder. With that, we finished the first havoc. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.